I'm sorry, what? I understand it's cashmere, but what? I personally have not really bought anything lounge set like until recently. I would just wear workout clothes at home or kind of wear old t-shirts. I've become pretty obsessed with loungewear, especially working from home. Since the pandemic, so many more cute designs are available and I feel like everyone wears loungewear now and it's very socially acceptable. Chloe and I are going to be wearing it to lounge sets. Jessica and I are each gonna choose each other a set of cheap and a set of luxury loungewear so that we don't know the prices of what we're trying. We're gonna try both sets on, see which one we like best and then try and guess the prices. I do feel that the cheap one is probably gonna be a a little bit more casual and that the luxury one is probably gonna have some like rich widow vibes if you know what i mean i've never tried really expensive loungewear i don't even know what that looks like very curious to see if it's worth the money because it's just loungewear all right let's go shopping i'm gonna start with the cheap version and i'm gonna start on torrid just because it's a kind of reliable plus size website and plus size items are notoriously hard to find a lot of these just look like pajamas and that's not what i'm going for i do see a lot of really cool ones there's one right here that's catching my eye this one is from nasty gal it only is the two piece it looks really like rich vibes but i feel that if i find a three piece I'm gonna be able to throw her off a little bit by thinking that that might be the more expensive one. So I really like what I've just found. The top is 22, the bottom is 22. I think that's a pretty good price considering it looks pretty good quality. And I really like the color, I really like the fit. Okay, so Google just suggested this one right here. So essentially if I'm doing the math, you're kind of paying $10 per piece in this lounge set. These are really, really cool, actually. Now it is time to find the luxury one. So I'm just gonna Google luxury plus size loungewear. Oh my God, there's one here that is almost $500. I feel like I shouldn't even be on this website. This is crazy. It does look luxurious, I'll say that. This brand here called Eloquy, they're pretty expensive, 90 bucks for joggers and they look nice. This is more along the lines of what I want. So I think I found one, I clicked on it and I genuinely thought that this price right here was for the three piece set, but that's just the cardigan. So these are some shorts in a tank. Here it is. Like these prices are insane. It's cashmere. So I'm expecting it to be really soft and comfortable and that she will never want to take it off. Pretty expensive. I would not usually pay this. 90 bucks for the pants and 70 bucks for the top. Oof. Shopping complete. I'm so excited to see what Chloe selected for me and to see how they fit and if I can tell the price difference by just looking at them. They're here. I was terrified when I got this out of the bag. This is a top, this is a bra. This isn't even a bra. This is just a tiny bit of fabric. Everything else is actually really cute in this set. This is like the big cardigan. I like this a lot. I do love the fact that these are both three piece sets. The first set that I have right here, this one you can tell, is like slightly ribbed. It's soft. The material is much, much thinner. So this is something that I would probably feel comfortable wearing only at home. It's really pretty, nice and light. I'm gonna say this one's cheap, but not because it looks really cheap. It's just in comparison to this, which feels pretty soft. It is 100% cashmere. Oh, it's sustainable cashmere. Okay, that is actually pretty awesome. So the yarn is respun from vintage garments and factory scrap. That's awesome. Okay, I'm like very excited by this now because I know that it's sustainable and good for the environment. And then we have really cute, almost like bike shorts. Oh, look at this leaf. It has this like extremely dramatic sleeve. I personally love a dramatic sleeve. And if you see it in comparison, it's like such a huge difference in the material. This one is extremely ribbed. It feels knitted by like a luxurious grandma. I do wear things from Eloquy. So I know that their items might be a little bit more pricier. Based on my analysis, I'm gonna go ahead and say that the green one, the Eloquy one is the luxury one. All right, let's try them both on. So here's the outfit on. I am really into the cardigan a lot. I really like how long it is. It makes it look kind of sophisticated. I love the pants too. I think it goes really well with the flowy flowiness. What is not flowy is the top. 
and I don't have this strapless bra that I like, so I'm just wearing a bra with it. To me, this isn't loungy because I don't feel comfortable in it. This doesn't look cheap to me, honestly. So I started with the pink set. This one is so soft, I already want to take a nap in it. The sleeves are actually pretty decent. I am 5'3", five, 5'4", five, in a good day. Most sleeves tend to be really long for me, but this one kind of gathers around my wrist. Now, the bottoms are much, much longer than I am, so they're pretty much ruching very heavily around my ankles. This is a fake bow, so you can't really do anything. It's literally just for show and tell. The bottoms are size 24. I don't think I would actually size down because there isn't much space around the waist. I saw the label and it's from Boohoo. I know Boohoo do a lot of like 50% off sales. So I'm gonna guess, let's say 40, and that's with a discount. So I'm gonna say that this is probably 60, $7. I don't think it's under 50. That's such a weird number, but that's what I'm guessing. I do like this. I think that the cardigan is too big. Like I get that it's supposed to be oversized, but it's kind of drowning me. This is cute, this little like cut with like the longer bit at the back. I don't know what to do with all this fabric. It kind of just like bulks up and it makes my shoulders look quite large, but it does feel really soft on. Like it's for sure expensive because it feels so smooth. My favorite part are definitely the biker shorts. I love these. They're a little big as well. I think honestly the sizing chart is not super accurate. This is all a little big. To be fair, um, this is big because they only had a large left. If it's like crazy, crazy expensive, then no, not worth it. But it does feel luxurious. And I think it looks kind of expensive. Depending on the final price, it might be worth it if you got your right size. Okay, I have this set on and I already feel like my credit score is above 800. Look at the dramatic sleeves. I'm still warm and like this is just gonna give me the little ventilation that I need because I personally run really hot. I love that it's crop top. I feel like I need to take some like really dramatic photos like this. Because I am 5'3", I'm always expecting every pants that I get to be tailored and when they're tailored they're pretty much cut off to half of like what the pants originally are but these pants actually don't need much tailoring i genuinely feel rich like i feel like this is what you wear when you're like drinking wine like the first look the girl was drinking a capri sun which is like what i do let's talk about the little detail here but this one you can actually adjust to tighten and loosen so it's not a fake bow literally the cutest thing ever Given that I have no idea how much luxury loungewear costs, 250, that's a random amount that I wouldn't pay, but I feel like some people might. I'm guessing it costs about 241. $241. Why am I picking these odd numbers? But that's what I think. actually $44 and my mind is blown because the top did fit perfectly the bottoms fit around my waist okay but they're too long so I am okay with spending the extra $10 to get these hemmed and now they're gonna look like they were made for me so the cheap set is 30 okay that is cheaper than I thought it was I said 40 to 45 oops that's a really good bargain though okay so this set only costs $160 and for the way I feel and for the way I look I definitely think that it's worth the price a plus size luxury lounge set like this at this price range even though it is a little high I feel like it's it's fair it fits so beautifully 924 Dollars. I'm sorry, what? I understand it's cashmere and I guess it recycled is gonna be more, but what? No, there's no getting around it. I don't think that's worth it at all. I mean, they're nice if you appreciate fabric more than I do, I guess it's fine. I definitely see myself wearing both of these again. I'm probably gonna be wearing the pink one a little bit more because that's gonna be on the days that I don't wanna see anyone and I just wanna cuddle with my puppies. I would wear the expensive bike shorts because they're really cool, but I would size down. I wouldn't pay that money. And I would wear the cheap cardigan again. Hopefully loungewear is going nowhere because I do love it. And that's basically what I want to live in from now on. Keep the loungewear coming.